Okay, today we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, what I'm going to do is actually critique the hats that we sell here at JJ Hat Center. I'm going to tell you personally what I think of them. Um, this is definitely a first. Um, I don't know. I can't really say bad stuff about hats if they stink, but I don't really think there are any stinky hats here. Pretty much anything like that we've gotten rid of on sale and half price. But if there's anything here that I feel that there are problems with, um, I'll tell you. Like, uh, don't wear this hat in the rain and things like that, okay? All right, so let's move on. All right, first... Everybody knows what I feel about the Bushman. Uh, the Akubra Bushman is amazing. It's a hat that comes open crown. You could wear it center crease. You could wear it open road style. Um, it's super, super thick felt. Uh, somewhere between dress felt and uh, like a Stetson cowboy hat, I'd say. It's not stiff like a Stetson Western, but... It's not soft like a regular Stetson um, dress hat. It's somewhere in between. Akubra is one of the more hardy brands out there. The amazing thing about them is that they're $175, which is what they were 15 years ago when we sold them. They came back. I expected them to be at two, two twenty-five. They have not gone up in like 15 years. Um, we used to sell some amazing hats that uh, from Borsellino back in those days that were 350. Uh, I would say these are comparable as far as performance. They'll last you a lifetime, and uh, I'm going to say that wholeheartedly. You're going to have to be in some kind of uh, I don't know biker gang or maybe you're a rodeo clown or something like that for you to wear this hat out would be near impossible. Maybe if you're like a, a hobo that like rides the trains and you know you get kicked off the trains and you know beat up and stuff. I, I don't know how you could possibly wear it out. This is a big hat though. It's like I don't know, open road size, a little bigger. It's good for a young person who wants something really cool and and super thick. Uh, somebody who wants something not funky, you could just crack the brim down, and uh, it's more of a kind of a crossover hat, somewhere between a western and not a western, like a. Stratoliner meets a bigger brim with a much tougher, tougher felt. Uh, I love these. I think they're perfect hats. Uh, any color you get is going to be good. They come in two colors, like a sand color, kind of beige color, and a moonstone, which is like a very light grayish blue. It's a, it's a great color. It's a light, light gray, and it has a little blue to it, so it doesn't look uh, you know, like a Wall Street kind of a dress hat gray. It's earthy. They're always like these sky colors or earth colors. That's what a Kubra does. They basically have two colors in each hat. All right, let's get back. Mm. Felt collection. Next hat. Okay, the Traveler by a Kubra is amazing. This is an interesting hat. It's a downturn brim. A downturn, kind of a safari outback look. Comes in a light color and a dark color. Um, they are thick. It's that same felt, but this one has no leather sweatband inside, and you can actually roll this thing into a cone. Um, they're a little stiffer than most travel hats, but you can do it, and the more you do it, they soften up. This is amazing. You can take this thing camping or whatever, uh, white water rafting, get it totally wet. Uh, anything Akubra is bulletproof. I love it. I think it's great. I'm not personally into downturn brims myself, so I wouldn't get it. Uh, you can't really turn the brim up on this. You could flip it up in the back, though. So if you're a down guy in front, that's okay. You could flip the back up or down. But if you're an up guy and you flip your hats all the way up, you can't do that with this hat. The Style Master, same felt, but it's a fedora kind of looking thing, like a whippet. It's a, uh, a dress hat. It's a dress hat, kind of like a, a 1940s dress hat with a bound edge and a teardrop. But it's, again, made out of this kind of felt where you can just, uh, you can get the worst rain, the worst snow on it, and not worry about it. Uh, I'm talking about 
serious rain, serious snow. Flip your brim up, keep it away from heat, hang it up on the coat rack or a nail, you're fine. Uh, anybody from Australia can definitely chime in uh, if they own an Akubra and they've had it for this amount of years. Um, yeah, write down in the comments. Tell the people how long you've had your Akubras for. I mean, I love my Stetsons. I love all my different brands, but this brand is on the money. Let me tell you something. If I ever... Uh, really were to suggest a brand that's uh, consistent and good for the weather, it's this. Now, they're not perfect hats. It's not this, the, like the fine, fine, luxurious, you know, beaver thing that weighs an ounce. It's, but they are very weatherproof and they will last you a lifetime. Uh, and that's very important to a lot of people. Style Master comes in a sand, and it also comes, it's uh, called Fawn, I think. And then it comes in a really nice bluish gray, which looks great if you have blue eyes. Uh, it's a great color because it's not that gray color that looks, again, Wall Street looking. It's young looking. It's a modern version of a fedora. And it's a great hat for anybody to buy any age. I love it. Okay, let's get past these Akubras. Ontario, another hat I love. The Ontario uh, is supposed to be a hat like my green hat, just like the green hat that I wear, the Kevin, Kevin signature model. This is it. The only difference is it has a raw edge, which looks great because it's thick felt and it's great felt. You can see that side of the raw edge there. Look at that. That's good felt when you see the side like that. Uh, this is sapphire blue. We have sapphire blue coming in any day. We also have a new color powder blue coming. It comes in rose, like a beautiful pink with like a navy band. Um, infrared sells a lot, but it's not my favorite color. I don't really like red hats. A lot of people do, though. The rose, I think, is cool, but... To me, the sapphire is the best, and the powder blue, which hasn't come in yet, that's awesome. you got to see what that looks like. I've only seen pictures. Any day, this should be here. Actually, Stetsons were due today. I wonder... I'm off today. I wonder if they did arrive or not. All right, let's go back here. Old collection. Okay, the stingy, the stingy natural is a stingy brim version of our 100x pure beaver hat. 100x beaver is different from beaver. This comes from the beaver's chest hair, the deep underneath hair that's like right against his chest, kind of like the down, like goose down stuff of felt. Um, it's the softest, it's very soft, very light, it feels like nothing you've ever felt before. There's zero colors in there. There's no dye. There's no stiffeners. There's nothing in there. It's pure. So just the felt alone is so nice that it can exist this way without stiffeners. You shape it with your hands. You make teardrops and stuff and, you know, pinch it and do stuff. You don't steam it in. It doesn't really work with steam, but it's unnecessary. This is a soft hat. you got to like soft. It's got a good snap and everything. But it's very, very soft, luxurious, weighs nothing. Anybody who touches it is like, OMG, this is the nicest hat I've ever felt. It also comes in a three inch brim, like a very big brim, a very small brim, but it doesn't come in like a two and a half inch brim yet. Hopefully, maybe that'll be next. Okay, my son's getting restless. I know he wants to play. I'm going to review two more hats, and then we'll do a part two of this thing. Okay, the Metropolitan. Metropolitan is another high-end hat. Metropolitan is, is a pure beaver version of the Stetson Temple. Raw edge, simple crease, simple pinches, very, very thick felt. It's like two, three times thicker than a regular Stetson, maybe more, like four times thicker. It's got a good snap. Uh, we ordered this. It was the pinnacle with a little bit of an extra, a uh, little bit of an extra velvety finish. So we call it something different, Metropolitan. It is essentially a Stetson pinnacle, pure beaver, 
but it's our version of it. Uh, we call it the Metropolitan because it's got a little more of a suede finish to it. This is amazing. Uh, it, well, the thing about this hat is it's expensive. It's three fifty, but it's some of the nicest felt, if not the nicest felt, Stetson has used in a dress hat in the twenty five years I've been here. It's a shame that it has to be three fifty. Um, back in the old days, like you know, in the old vintage hat days, all hats felt like this. I think. Um, this is expensive felt, and I can understand it costing. It looks like they spent a lot of time and energy uh, in it. Everything's nice on it, the leather sweatband. It's part of their Excellence series, which is their best series they make. Um, it's gorgeous. It'll hold the rain. It'll hold the snow. Personally, I wouldn't wear it in the rain and the snow if it was me because it's just too nice, but it'll probably be fine. Um, I don't know. This hat is a direct result of the Stetson Temple being a little bit being a little bit susceptible to uh, getting wavy in the brim. The Stetson Temple is the exact same hat in Rabbit and basically it's not a great hat for the rain so it's a good hat, it's waterproof, it's this and that but the felt is a little thin, it's a long brim with a raw edge and because of that it's more susceptible to waviness. So yeah, it's rainproof, it's rabbit, it's a good hat, made in USA, but the Temple is not a hat I would choose if you plan on getting it wet. The Metropolitan, now this hat is great. This is an amazing hat for anything, um, but it is expensive. It's, uh, you know, like a 350. Um, you could see the texture on it. It looks a little bit kind of velvety. Not too much, though. It's not tacky, like a Superfly kind of velvet, you know? comes in black, which is sold out. Yeah. Wow, sold out. I don't know about this. This is not accurate. We have some Metropolitans. Looks like they're saying we got mostly gray. I think we have more than what it says here. I remember there being two sizes in gray but more stock in brown and stuff. So I'm going to say don't trust this computer right now. It's a little bit inaccurate. I'll talk to my, uh, I'll talk to Benji about that. Maybe he'll fix it. Always call if we're out of a size or something, you know, just to find out. Um, the Fulton, again, that's a hat with a raw edge, thin felt, big brim. Great hat has a vintagey kind of a big tall boxy crown if you're a vintage purist guy but it, uh, with the raw edge you don't want to wear those in heavy rings um, like the temple it can get a little wavy it might not it might be fine the cyrus is awesome this is a hat with a full velvety finish it's a suede felt not velour it's not that velvety it's awesome it's a low crown, if you like a low crown. Navy is awesome. Plum is awesome. Uh, the Cyrus is a really good hat. We haven't gotten any complaints, issues, nothing. It's uh, 245 bucks. If a sale starts or something, you could get that at a nice price, you know, like less than a Stetson. And it is definitely gorgeous, state-of-the-art quality. Um... Temple we talked about. The Temple is basically like the Metropolitan, but it can be a little bit susceptible to rain as far as losing its shape on the brim, little waves. Um, prefer to go with a Whippet or a uh, Temple Special Edition is gone. We have like one size left. That's very old. Ken is great. Ken is expensive it's 290 it's soft feels like a vintage hat it's amazing quality it has a raw edge with a whip stitch a little bit shorter brim like a medium brim nice hat really nice very similar to the hats you see me wearing uh, inside by my gu uh, guitars when you see me making guitar videos I have the black hat and those little toe hats very much like that a two inch brim I'm finishing now okay Okay, um, let's do one more hat, and then I'm going to play with my son, because he's so nice, he's waiting patiently. Um, next, one more hat, I'm going to review. Could always do a part two. 
Next. Come on already. Why is it taking so long to change pages here? Come on already, Dad. Two. All right, here we go. Uh, the Saxon, no problems. Great hat, short brim. It has a welted edge, all good, strong stuff. The Valencia is beaver and mink, state of the art, gorgeous. The Seville is the same thing as the Valencia, but rabbit, custom made, kind of a uh, a Borsellino clone. It's like a Borsellino Como with a uh, lower lower crown, very similar to my green hat. Also, ooh, Grandma and Grandpa. Uh, The Ashers are shortest brim Stetson. Uh, it was at one point the best selling hat in the shop. This hat is great, flawless, everybody loves it. If you're looking for a modern look, it's a small looking hat. Um, great with the brim down or the brim up. Very good brim down. If you're looking to not look like a gangster or a detective and you want something just laid back, modern to wear around town, it's great. The Madrid, is a three inch brim. That's what's in style right now in New York. All the guys in my shop are wearing these hats. Um, it's a trendy thing, the really big brims. So if you wanna look really cool, like one of these guys on the Grammy Awards and stuff, you know, that's like the height of fashion right now. Um, the big, big brim, well-designed, expensive fedoras like this. Madrid is gorgeous. Right now we have it in plum and black. Uh, I don't know if we have any cognac left. All right, I'm gonna stop now because I'm gonna go play with my son. Stetson Rancher, fantastic. The open road is pretty good. I'm gonna say I wouldn't wear that in the rain too much though, as opposed to a Rancher, which will be totally bulletproof in the rain. The open road, even though it's a Western, they're good hats, but they're not perfect hats. You can get some waviness in the brim on that one. For me, I would uh, wear it in light rains, but I would not have pouring, pouring, you know, like deluge type of stuff. Um, and that's it. Uh, the rancher probably can handle anything, ice bucket challenge or whatever. You know? All right, guys, sending that love out to you guys. Uh, don't forget to get one of these here. And we'll see you later, okay?